Hello and welcome back to the Kaiserich Mongolia campaign. I'm Count Christo and today we take on Central China. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe this is... We take on the Qing, <laughs> in short. Evade all airplanes in reserve. We have two fighters. Spanish Civil War is over. Who won? Who won? The Kingdom of Spain. Wow, I've never seen that. That's so cool. Oh, Serbia is uh, at war with the Dominion. The Danubian Federation. Interesting. German Empire took out Lithuania, to no one's great surprise. If they take White Ruthenia, I wonder if German is going to try and take it back. Germany is going to try and take it back. Which would be interesting. They have a big focus tree. Alright. Alright. We need to save up some more political power. United Baltic actually... Oh, they managed to pull it back. Interesting. I'm impressed. <clears throat> German Empire now looking nice and contiguous. How's supply? Still over it in this area. Let's have some more of you go to the north. If we can do a really strong northern push, that'd be good. Eingard Romania goes. Austria's going to annex them. I'm not liking having to weaken in the, in the south, though. Looks like we're actually at capacity now. Building forts in the south first, though, so that's good. There's the computing machine. Let's go straight for fighters. And with radio, go straight for decryption. Ahead of time. Um, let's get close air support. No. What's so little rubber? Mm. Yeah, we should start building some artillery. We should have started a while ago, actually. Okay, so the next template is going to be Cav 3. It's going to have support artillery and engineering companies. And the icon will be something slightly different. Um, devils. Sounds good. <clears throat> you can stop training those. Start training these. And we're going to need to start building some support equipment. That many. Um, might need more than that. How much do these use? They need 30 support equipment and 24 artillery. Okay. And support equipment artillery costs how much less? Slightly less. So we need just slightly more. Actually, probably eat one for one ish. So let's do that. And then that. Okay, we need some more aluminium. On it, boss. Let's get that. There we go. Okay. Okay, start stockpiling those fighters. You got any planes? Ah, damn. They do have planes. Eliminate the horse and cart. <gasps> How dare they? War goal, war goal acquired. Missy supports this ideology. Ah, it's a pain. We're okay, national populists. Yeah, I think we will waste some political power on that, unfortunately. So now the supply in this north is getting bad. Not so bad, they're actually suffering attrition, though, so that's okay. Attrition is still present over here. Send one of you away. Just just to outside the, uh, the areas that are the issue. I really don't want supply to become an issue over here, so let's send a couple of these guys away too. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I see the problem. Air bases. To get to northern China, we might have a problem. I guess we also build an air base uh, here. After the forts, though. We don't need the forts uh, here, because that's where we're going to push. The rest of them seem fine. It is definitely time to end Qing rule. Re-establish the glorious Great Yuan, which I believe is the name of the empire that controlled these parts when it was Mongolian. So any extra cav that get deployed, not that I expect any to really because we don't have the equipment for them for a while. Go there. Let's go up to two lines of that. No, let's go three lines. I think fighters are, they can be really, really useful. 
They've got very low equipment. I'm feeling like maybe they're not going to be an issue at all. <laughs> I like how that fort just kind of went Loop, and grew out of the ground when it finished construction. <laughs> that looked really funny. <laughs> the Great Infrastructure Project. I like how they've named these things. It's cool. Even though they haven't given it its own focus tree, they've just gone with the names, which is nice. There goes Latvia. So the United Baltic Duchy did manage to successfully reunify. Now they're probably continuing. Yeah, they're still going down Germanization. So if they go for integration, they just get annexed, which is pretty cool. Okay, there's the war. Next. Uh, might as well do Occupy Yuan. No, I don't. Let's do nothing, because I want to go to war economy. Alright, full on push in the north. Charge. Forwards, my men. I believe in you. Rightfully so, it looks like. Okay, that airport done. Yes, it is. Here it is. Let's put all our planes there. You can give it a go. Let's see. We'll focus on air superiority. <clears throat> um, let's wait and take the industry tax. Industry tax, I think. Yeah, you can go there. Yeah. Attacking me there? That seems unwise. You're being attacked yourself. You should focus on your own defense. You should set your own house in order, as it were. The push to Beijing shouldn't be too much of a problem, really. Queen's called in delegation cities? What? Ooh, factions forming all over the place. No? Oh, no, no faction. That's the leader, right? Why? How'd you manage that? Oh, they're a puppet. Interesting. <clears throat> How'd you pull that off? I guess there's an event these days. Or well, maybe they start as a puppet. Except these guys come over. Don't need to be over there anymore. Focus on the defense there. Should be able to push in here. Ah, oh, they've got fully reinforced cav arriving. That's the problem. See, it's the cav, man. Cav's powerful stuff. <laughs> oh, no, they changed its direction. Interesting. Up here. But if we push in here, then this will matter because we'll be able to occupy all this. Maybe we shouldn't take Beijing. Yeah, let's be gamey. Let's not take Beijing, thereby giving them no supply in all the rest of China. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh. They really shouldn't let me do that to them. It's going to be really bad. <laughs> I'm so glad I thought of that. It's going to be really good fun. I feel almost bad attacking China. I'm really enjoying my Ming campaign. In, uh, in E4. My own taxes. Let's let them have a moment. Rebalance and attack again. Need some more guys here, ideally. Let's have these guys come and help. Oh, suddenly they're attacking as well. How did you pull that off? I guess now you can queue attacks, you can do things like that. Odd. Okay, you guys can restart that attack. And uh, if they want to move and change, get rid of their entrenchment, great. Uh, into our artillery should be good. We're producing more artillery than support equipment. Interesting. Let's, let's go 4-5 in terms of ratios for a bit. Oh, we're short on stuff again if we do that. Alright, let's not do that just so I don't have to deal with that for a moment. And oh, let's overproduce infantry equipment for a moment because we're going to have to upgrade it. Okay. Danubian Federation took out Greece. Oh, the Danubian Federation is, is balling out of control. What the heck? They released them? Why didn't they puppet them? The second and a half international. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, Poland joined the international. Interesting. Oh, and the Don Command Union joined Middle Europa. Interesting. As did Azerbaijan. I guess that was their response to Russians doing some kind of offensive uh, expansionism, yeah. Oh, okay, so they're attacking in the south, but to no avail. Our attack in the south is not going to happen, it looks like, them in the short term, anyway. 
Let's go speed four. I really want to punch through here. These fights just take ages. <clears throat> we need to get some artillery to our guys, really. Gosh, it takes a long time, doesn't it? <laughs> Come on. I believe. You can do it. We've got a great general, even if he's invisible. We're about to get defensive... It's a logistics wizard, which... Ha! Logistics wizard, which will definitely help a lot. Their attacks all the way along is going to make their already bad supply problems... Equipment supply, I mean, even worse, which is very good news for us. The fall of Denver. Interesting. Mexicans have made small progress here. It's very mountainous, so difficult. So the combined syndicates start winning. Although, I mean, you know, the unions, unionists are holding too. Numbers-wise, they're pretty disadvantaged. Factory-wise, they're hugely disadvantaged. Interesting. We'll see how that goes. Now they're all attacking and they all have multiple combats. Let's do this. That's um. This is our time. Okay, it's January. Let's take uh, dispersed industry. They really shouldn't keep launching these attacks. It's a very bad idea. It's going to make them suffer. Almost time for war economy, which is going to help. It's going to be very nice. Still producing as many military factories as we possibly can. Oh, these fights suddenly turned against us. Ah, oh, they stopped here. Okay. Ah, but then they start again. And then we start again. Oh, we started two attacks from here. Not wise. Not wise at all. Oh, got one of them to retreat. That's good. Ooh, might be able to push through here. Supply issues in the north. Although the fact that we have the supply issues is what's helping this guy get the logistics wizard trait. So, you know. It's not all bad. That helped. Okay. Come on, take it, I believe. I know Cav aren't the best in woods, but it only cost 100. That's annoying. Okay, uh, do I want to change anything else? I'd like to go to extensive conscription as well, really. But we should take, we should keep taking focuses. Let's do, make this stuff cheaper. Infantry equipment. Elastic defense, very nice. Uh, it's got to be more... Yeah, that's all useless, because it's all tanks, and we can't have tanks. Okay, I can't believe I didn't think of this earlier. We should definitely attack here from multiple directions. Um, we mustn't let any of them reinforce here either. Are they all attacking in? No, some of them still standing still. Oh, gosh, he's trying to reinforce. Don't let that militia get there. That would be bad. Maybe here now? Oh, yes, very, very possibly, very possibly. Come on. Push in, I believe. From multiple angles. Let's do this. Ah, the reinforcements have got hit back again, though. Maybe, though. Still might be able to do it. Only 11% average organization. We're not much better, though, to be honest. How are we doing in the air? We're not winning. Disrupting quite a few of their planes. I really don't like that you can't see all the air wings active in an area anymore. Very easy. You have to do it airbase by airbase. It's a very silly decision. Alright, this air wing. How do I change its size? There. You can put... Well, no, it's limited to 200. Just be, just be a bit sane here. How many have we got? Got another 42. Syndicates in the Brevian Commune. I mean, this is what's ideology. Ah! Fine. We'll fight it, unfortunately. Do not like that pop-up. Is that this guy as well? It is! It's this freaking moron. Or maybe it's one of these guys. I don't know. It's probably this guy. But I wish it told you what kind of head of government you were going to get when it gave you that event earlier on. It really should. It does with most other countries. You got a Logistics Wizard yet? Yeah, nice. Almost got Defensive Doctrine too. So Logistics Wizard will help out a great deal. Their loss is going to way outseed mine, right? Yeah, look at that. Uh, the Red Flood. Oh, we almost managed to push in there. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Okay. 
So the three attacks are ordered. This one looks unguarded, so we might be able to push straight in here. There we go. Nice. And as I said, if we can cut off Beijing, it's, this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> okay, there are the reinforcements. Problem is, they'll still be able to deploy troops to Beijing. Although I think they'll only be able, they'll only be able to deploy troops to Beijing, which will uh, <laughs> be entertaining to say the least, <laughs> because they won't be able to deploy troops anywhere else in their entire country. Okay, ten to here. That's good. As soon as we win this, actually, I can. I, I keep forgetting I can queue up attacks, kind of what I think of as ahead of time. It's very handy. Very handy indeed. Just pin them there for a moment. Problem with not taking Beijing is it's going to make supply in this area a lot harder than if we could just take Beijing. That would make things a lot simpler. But we're not after simple. We're after entertaining and hilariously effective. So we will will not take Beijing. Yeah, crossing this river seems like a non-starter. The weird thing about being able to queue up attacks is it seems to let you start, you know, you can have attack from here to here and from here to here, which is interesting, to say the least. Okay, supply here is pretty freaking bad. Let's focus on repair here. Let's improve the infrastructure. We have to. I think it's just too terrible. Simply terrible. Let's get some reinforcements just here. You can come across. Let's halt that attack. It's not working out. You guys, can you retreat here, please? Good. You can still def retreat into a defense. That's good. Even if you can't attack retreat anymore. That at least is very good to know. Still holding all the way along the rest of the line. Yes, good. The forts are helping, I'm sure. That extra 15%. That penalty against their attack and breakthrough, 15%, it's just lovely. It's really, really helpful. Might be able to win an attack here. And then sneak around here. Let's give it a go. Can I deploy any of these spare guys? No, I cannot. <laughs> Most definitely cannot. Although, actually, if there's any Cav 3... Be the bottom. There are some Cav 3. Okay. Send these guys in, in the north. And then we'll have to pull out some of these guys. So I guess I might have them, might as well have them fight to the death. <clears throat> before their replacements arrive. Okay, the United Mexican States have annexed much of this. Very nice. Cool. Mexico regaining its uh, lost territory there. Very cool. Okay, we have pushed in here. That's excellent. You can go here. You can go here. See if we can crush in. Should improve the supply situation as we begin to take control of this supply zone as well. They're really keen to attack me, aren't they? Maybe it's because the AI is looking at my divisions and saying, oh, that's a cav division. It must be terrible. And not factoring in the fact that my cav divisions are pretty good. On balance, anyway. Yeah, you can leave. And now, like, you, pretty much all you guys... You can come down here, and then you guys can all leave, pretty much. Yeah. You can go. Okay, um... As soon as these guys have organization, I'll have them charge in. Still at very low supply. These guys mix in. And as some of them come in, we'll keep taking out Cav. Old school Cav. Cav without the bells and whistles. Improved artillery. More importantly, advanced machine tools. Still not full. Nice. Okay, so we've got... At least we're contesting SBRT pretty nicely now. I should probably set these guys to... Uh, interception as well. Since the enemy has a couple of support planes. Yeah, no. You can't take on my new Cav. I knew Cav will destroy you. Okay. Um, probably going to launch an offensive here, I guess. 
Or here? These guys look pretty weak. Mm, maybe. If they keep that in multiple combats penalty, we might be able to just push through here. Let's give this a go. Mr. Sports' ideology. Ah! Wait, aren't we paternal autocrats? Maybe I should probably I always forget. Alright, we'll keep trying to revert his efforts. Unfilled import requests. Which ones? Steel, we don't actually need importing anymore. Well, even if they're unfulfilled, it looks like we're still okay on that, on the equipment at the mo on resources at the moment. Oil from the Baratheon Commune. Well, I mean, as long as we still get some from them, that's okay. That should be fine. You go over here. Modernize arms production. Good. Ooh, a 50% bonus for infantry weapons. That would be really nice right now. Get the infantry weapons two. Yeah, two out. Nice and quick. That push is not working. Oh, but a bunch of them just left, I think. So maybe if we resume it. Ooh, yeah, potential, potential. Let's see what we can do here. Might just be able to push through. We're lucky. If I can just take these two provinces, cut these guys off. There's no port up here. He's so great. You don't even know. Come on. They're very weak in some of these places down here. There's one guy, one guy. But they'd probably spread to reinforce if I actually played a play. We managed to improve the infrastructure yet. God, it takes a long time. Come on, you can do it. Push in. It's one guy. They're trying to reinforce him. Don't let him. Come on. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Please, no one reinforce here. Nine, eight, seven, six. Ah, they got the reinforcements in. We might break this guy before they reinforce, though. No. No. It's not reinforced. But hey, we did get rid of this guy, at least. And actually, they also have these three guys launching an attack, who would then, once their defenders fled, they would then join in this one, I think. But I'm not sure. I think it would also count as a new battle, which means they'd get instant reinforcement, which is a load of horse hockey, if you ask me. Any new cav can just reinforce to here, I guess. Are there any new cav in this? Yes. You can come up here to the north, actually. No, no, here. This, the shorter one, yeah. Okay, cease offensives. Cease offensives. Let's... Let's be a little more measured. You guys... The supply's not terrible here. It's not good enough that I want to spend more regular cab in, though. Let's spread out. Let's let them bleed a little bit. But that shall take place in the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.